The Jasikan College of Education in the OT region has commenced construction of hostel facilities to make room for the intake of students for the 2020-2021 academic year. This was necessary as the institution won't be graduating students this year due to the introduction of a four-year degree program at the Colleges of Education. Nonetheless, management of the college is handicapped in financing the project. There has their calling on government and other organizations to support to ensure the timely completion of the project. Fred Kwame Asari has more in this report. The Jasekan College of Education was established in 1952. It has produced quite a substantive number of teachers in the country. Though successive governments have made efforts to make available the needed logistics for a smooth training of students, the institution still has some challenges. The challenges include inadequate teaching and non-teaching staff, inadequate potable water supply, lack of office space, among others. Wisdom Nani Dogbe is the acting secretary of the college. So we need to fence the college. If there is a fence wall, I think that will solve the problem. At times, you, you see animals from the forest, the mountain, or Hindu. You can see some snakes, uh, alligators, and so forth coming down. Even after you see monkey, they came around, and then they come around, and later on, run away. Uh, it's also a challenge. At times, students see them, they run away. Water is a problem here. For now, we have only one borehole we are using as a school. We may need additional three or four. Let this block no borehole there. If we can get one or two there, I think that will make it better for us. Okay. However, the lack of enough hostel facility is the most prominent challenge of the Jessica College of Education. This has led to overcrowding in their hostels. A level 200 student, Eva Odoko Mensa, lamented the situation. Yeah, as for the heat, the heat is very, very severe especially in the cubicle in which I am. Um, this season, because it's summertime and the weather is a bit cold, that is when me like this in my cubicle, I can at least sit there for at least, let's say, three hours continuously, except in the night that you are sleeping. We need the assistance of all stakeholders involved so that at least the congestion in our cubicles will be lessened and then students will feel free and then be, be at least the ventilation is also quite important. The ventilation in there because of the congestion is very, very bad. It's, it makes contraction of certain diseases very easily. So we are calling for their assistance, the government as well. With this development, management fears the institution would not be able to admit students for the 2020-2021 academic year. This is because there won't be space to accommodate fresh students since the institution won't be graduating students this year. This was due to the replacement of the three-year diploma program by a four-year bachelor's degree in education program some three years ago. Nonetheless, management had acted proactively by commencing construction of hostel facilities, said Parkwa Walker is the better for the institution. And our concern is premised in the fact that the government free HSS program will not come to fruition properly if those who complete the school remain in the house and they cannot move upwards. That's to say, if they can't find themselves in the universities, the colleges of education, and other tertiary institutions, it means the effort of the government uh, will not yield any good results. That is the most reason why we at Jessican College of Education want to uh, champion the course of government's uh, free HSS to the highest level, that's the tertiary level, so that people may not say, oh, after all, the free HSS has been done, but look at them, they are walking on the street, it's the same like them not going to school at all. So that's the more reason why we want to expand our facility to help government achieve its dream. He, however, appealed to government and other organizations to support the hostel project since the institution cannot solely fund it. To do. But if I say that right now, as I'm seated here, that we have money as IGF to run, that is a very ambitious project, seriously, because 
uh, we are to put up a place that will accommodate 200 men, 200 women. And we want to lessen the number in the room. So we want to take about eight per room. So if you divide 200 by eight, it means we have to get 25 rooms with its facilities, uh, washroom and then other facilities attached. So it's an ambitious project and the funds of the college cannot actually go anywhere. So if government will listen to our plea, we will surely be approaching government through the DC chief executive, the regional minister, up to the minister of education. If, if there's the need to go to minister of finance, we will go. So what I want to say ahead of time is that in case they see us or they hear us knocking on their doors, they should open their door for us. So we sell this idea of free HSS beyond SSS level to government. Nonetheless, government is constructing a 1,500 capacity auditorium with ancillary facilities for the school. It is funded by the Ghana Education Trust Fund. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, Jasekine.